Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Yao Ge. I'm glad to be here to show our work to you in uh, this poster session. And uh, our paper is called uh, Doppler based human activity recognition using Wi Fi signals. And uh, yeah. uh, let me first introduce our, the work uh, quickly. Uh, our paper is actually a proposed uh, framework using Doppler frequency shift uh, DFS based. Uh, methodology to extract the features and uh, classify different uh, human activities with uh, China's state information collected from the Wi-Fi devices. And uh, you can see from the uh, the figure, and uh, we apply commercial Wi-Fi devices to collect the data. And uh, to be more specifically, we apply three commercial Wi-Fi devices, including one transmitter and two receiver. Uh, equipped with specific software driver. Uh, meanwhile, a, the, the posi position setup is shown in the figure for uh, we collect in total for five different activities and uh, each of profile lasts for three seconds. Uh, after we the data collection of low sensitive data, data, we denoise the signal and then transfer to the Doppler spectrums. Uh, using short time Fourier transformation, and we fit uh, the transfer based neural network uh, with extracted uh, Doppler spectrums and to get uh, the recognition result. So, to be more details in each step, uh, firstly, from the low SSI data to Doppler spectrums, there are a lot of work need to be done. Uh, due to the unstable characteristic of Wi-Fi network cards. Uh, as I list below in the table, uh, each operation is related to the, the, the right-hand side function. Uh, after that, you can see there's, there are two kinds of Doppler spectrums reflected uh, uh, T2 activities, uh, leaning forward and uh, rise, rise up the arm. Uh, in this case, uh, they can be uh, either differentiated from each other because, uh, from our view. However, the collected data for the neural network uh, always confront the uncertainty time range uh, for the same activity. So it could uh, it could be false. Uh, based on our, our assumption, we will adopt a modified transformer structure called a multi-scale convolution augmented transformer. Uh, which has been proposed for ROS SI human activity recognition work. Uh, but in our task, we use it to sense the Doppler spectrums uh, from, two, uh, from two sides on both temporal module, temporal size and uh, frequency size. So you could see the two streams here and the uh, uh, in the conclusion, we finished the baseline of 87.6% uh, percentage uh, average accuracy in the limited data set with five-fold cross-validation. So, um, so the result may not that impressive, but still a good result. And uh, we can conclude that uh, the transformer uh, could be used in uh, human activity recognition using Doppler spectrum. Thank you for your listening.